Hi, and welcome to Good Morning KU. I'm Maddie Ireland. And I'm Avalon Call. Thanks for being with us. And now what everybody has been talking about for the past 24 hours, the Oscars were this past Sunday. I know. I was. I loved watching it. I was so excited. Yeah. I watched the whole entire time. It was a little long, but I loved it. What was your favorite part? I think one of my favorite parts was Ellen, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, she just did a great job. Her opening, she poked fun at everyone, which I mean, the hosts always do, so we can expect that. But everything about her, yeah. I loved. My favorite part was the pizza. I was like, oh. I wish I was in the <laughs> audience and I could have a slice of that right now. Yeah. That's awesome. Bringing the pizza guy out, and mm -hmm. I was the whole time I was thinking, that boy probably is so nervous. Like, right. he's in front of millions of people right now. But I mean, I saw on Ellen's show yesterday, she had. Um, the pizza delivery guy on to talk to him kind of about his new fame because mm -hmm. he was the most talked about I know. new celebrity. That's awesome. And it makes <laughs> such a fancy event with all these celebrities so casual right. and funny and kind of like more relaxed, which I love about Ellen. She can she, she just stands up there like she's talking like, it's just the Oscars. Right. And I just woke up and came here. <laughs> like, And she makes she, us all want to be there with them. I and know. <laughs> she's amazing. I love yeah. her. And she made fun of Jennifer Lawrence's fall for oh. two minutes, which was hilarious. And that fall, I mean, of course, Jennifer Lawrence, she always does what all of us really do, but she just makes it funny and she she's great. rolls with it. <laughs> They're showing clips of her when she, because this time she fell out of the car rather yes. than going up on stage. and Tripped over a cone. Yeah, right? she tripped over a cone, yeah. reached out and I think like kind of choked her friend in front of her. I know. Tried to grab her friend and then <laughs> Ellen, of course, was poking fun at her. Right. But, oh, I can't yeah. believe she fell a second time, honestly. <laughs> like, okay, the first time we understand, we'll give you that one, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe she should just stop wearing heels to yes. these events. She was yeah. probably mortified when it was happening. Like, yeah. what is going on? on help. <laughs> and Poor the Jennifer. big disappointment is Leonardo DiCaprio. I know. Everyone was hoping that he would win, but mm. Matthew snatched it from him. Yeah, and I feel like The Wolf of Wall Street too just it was a great movie. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed it, but it just didn't seem as strong enough as a movie as the other ones. Like yeah. 12 Years a Slave, that is intense. Like of course that's going to win. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I know for Matthew's movie, he was playing a character that mm -hmm. had AIDS, so he had yes. to lose a lot of weight, and I think it was a much more mm -hmm. taxing role on right. him rather than Leonardo's it Wolf of Wall Street. It took a lot more work, I guess right. you would say. So I mean, it's easier I don't to know, him. I'm not an actor, right. but <laughs> I thought Matthew would deserve that. Yeah, we mm -hmm. don't know what goes into that, but. Yeah, he lost a lot of weight for that role, he did. too. He did, so oh. I think he deserved it, and I know that he gave a great acceptance speech that mm -hmm. everyone loved. It was so talked yeah, about. Yeah, I almost cried. Yeah. <laughs> My other favorite acceptance speech was Lupita. Oh, oh my gosh, Lupita. We, I, can't, I don't even know where to begin. No. She was amazing. She was gorgeous mm -hmm. in her, her dress. Her dress oh. was fabulous. Her light blue dress. It's beautiful, yeah. honestly. I, that, I think that got one of the best dress, the like very best dress of the oh, Oscars. Yeah. And right? I mean, everyone was talking about the new color of her dress because mm -hmm. I think in her speech or and something she was talking about she named it some color and so mm -hmm. now there's huge talk that all of the nail polish companies are going to come up with that color right. and everything so I mean she's fabulous. And she was just so excited when she won too. She was just like ecstatic and I was just so happy for her. Yeah. I was like wow she really deserved it. And you could see the people that she was up against really mm -hmm. I think wanted her to win. Definitely yeah, yeah. they were like she, she can have this yeah, one. She, she deserved, deserved it. it. Yeah. And so the movie that she won Best Supporting Actress for mm -hmm. was 12 Years of Slave, which also took home right, the best movie. So. Well, speaking of the Grammys, I was watching it in St. Louis to celebrate Mardi Gras because we got stuck an extra day, yeah. had, to stay mon had to stay Sunday night because of the weather, but we were celebrating Mardi Gras, which today is Fat Tuesday. Yes, so if that's you didn't exciting. notice our beads. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to celebrate anything? Today? I'm not going to celebrate today, no. Mm -mm. Too many things to have practice tonight and you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I celebrating enough in St. Louis was enough for yeah, me. Yeah, you had an extra day yeah. of celebration than you expected. I don't think I'm going to do anything tonight, but I will wear beads all day. Yes. <laughs> Keep up the festivities with that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a great show for you, so stay tuned and mm -hmm. we'll be back. Hi, I'm Johanna Hecht, and I am here with TJ Blake from the Jayhawkers Coalition. Hi, how are you doing? Pretty good, how are you? I'm doing great this morning. Good. Okay, so TJ, Jayhawkers, what does it mean? 
Uh, Jayhawkers is actually a student senate coalition, so we're going to be running an election this next spring. Mm -hmm. All the students that are working for this are coming together, a diverse group of students working toward representing the students that go to KU. Mm -hmm. Mostly what they're trying to do is take, make that transition to make sure that our students not only are represented, but also have a chance to represent themselves within student senate. So we'll be working this next month to make sure that our message gets out, the platforms we're running for but also to make sure that other students have a chance to talk to us if they'd like to. Okay, so what is your part in all of this? Well, I have a really fun part. I get to work with all the social media, and I'm also press coordinator as well. Oh, wow. Uh, so I get to do a lot of things that's kind of different in this particular election. Mm -hmm. Last year, we saw a lot of competition between Ad Astra and KU United. Yes. And it was mostly centered around, like, tabling and, mm -hmm. like, having people uh, actually actively talking to you. Mm -hmm. This year, those restrictions have kind of been scaled back a little bit. Right. So most of the campaign this year is going to be online. Right. And so both coalitions that are currently in the race have really been amping up their game on social media. So yeah. making sure our, our video and our photos and all everything that we post online is increased is what I get to mm -hmm. work with, and it's a whole bunch of fun. Right, right, exactly. Instagram, Twitter, all that fun yeah. social networks. Um, so what type of platforms are there being presented in the Jayhawkers Coalition? Oh uh, yeah, we have a couple. All of them fall under three different categories. Okay. So we've got strength in KU, mm -hmm. we've got conserve KU, and we've got beyond KU. Okay. So the first one, strength in KU, is based on the KU community and the student life here at KU. So mm -hmm. that involves both Greeks and non-Greeks, residence halls, skull halls, making sure that just life on campus is mm -hmm. actually bettered. Right. The second one, conserve KU is based upon conserving the campus, both mm -hmm. the tradition of, that's within it, but also the sustainability of the campus. Right. And then the final one is the most interesting, in my opinion, which is <laughs> beyond KU. Because we all come to KU for a college education, uh, but making sure that goes to the next level, and then after you leave KU, that you have a job, that you're able to go right. get whatever kind of education you want after KU. So preparing students for that. Okay, awesome. So when does voting begin? When is this all like, starting like when do elections well the actual election begins the week of april the 6th okay uh, but student engagement can happen way before that right so if people want to ask questions people want to follow us on facebook and twitter mm -hmm. uh, people want to literally send us emails and join our team all that stuff can happen mm -hmm. uh, for our side or for that matter the other side too last year 25 percent of students turned out to vote uh, this year, we want to make it even higher. It's right. really important to make sure that students are actively engaged in what's going on with right. our community. So. Exactly, because it's such a big part of changing the student, like the campus itself and everything, and this impacts every single one of us. Yeah, so, absolutely. What is um, one of the biggest one of the biggest platforms? Isn't there one called Star? Yeah, actually, um, our Star platform we just released this week has become really popular on Facebook and Twitter this week. Mm -hmm. uh, it's our Student Transition and Academic Readiness Program. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of students when they come into K KU, whether they be a minority or a first generation student, come into KU uh, at a different playing field than a lot of other students. And so we think that we should make that transition easier by actually using the summer mm -hmm. to allow students to take classes earlier, to make sure they can come and experience the residence hall life to get acquainted with KU before they're actually at KU. Right, We right. kind of take the stance that KU should do as much to prepare for students as students do pre to prepare for KU. So just right. getting them ready for that. Exactly, exactly. So when is the next Jayhawkers meeting? Uh, we actually have a Jayhawkers meeting tonight mm -hmm. at 8 o'clock in Alderson Auditorium. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's here in the Union on the main floor. Mm -hmm. So if you walk in and you turn right and you just keep walking, uh, we'll have a meeting in there. So we hope that we have uh, are all of our Jayhawkers there? Mm -hmm. Anyone who's interested in Senate or just anything? Yeah, anything <laughs> at all. We'll take ideas or opinions. So. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Well, um, what else would you have to say about it? Would you say that um, Jayhawkers is just a big, diverse group of people like everyone else, or yeah. would you say there's something special about them? I definitely think we're special. I think one thing that makes our coalition very unique is the fact that every single platform that we've released isn't just an idea that people have had. While that's true, that it's come from multiple people, it's something that's been discussed by a large group of, you know, 70 to 80 people, but then taken to the next step where we go and re-research it with the organizations that we're gonna be working with, whether it's STAR, whether it's a sustainability platform, all those we know that we'll actually follow through with when it comes to the Student Senate. Awesome, that sounds fantastic. Well, thank you so much, TJ, for yeah. coming. And that is all for this segment. Um, stay tuned for the news section of the today.
Hi, I'm Margie Benjamin. And I'm Kimberly Massinio, and this is the News Update. Today, President Obama's fiscal plan for 2015 was sent to Congress. The budget of nearly $4 trillion allows greater coverage of income tax credit for both childless workers with low wages and some parents. Among other items on the budget proposal are plans to upgrade highways and railroads, create better job training programs, as well as pre-kindergarten programs. The 2014 Oscars, which aired last Sunday, reached the highest ratings in Academy Awards history. The awards telecast, typically second behind the Super Bowl, has grown its total audience for the past three years. With an average of 43 million viewers in the United States alone, ABC said these were the best ratings since 2004, when The Lord of the Rings, The Return on the King, won Best Picture. The New York Times corrected an article from over 160 years ago about the spelling of Solomon Northrop's name. You might recognize the name from his recent memoir, Twelve Years a Slave. The article ran on January 20, 1853. The error was noticed after a Twitter user pointed out the article in the Times archives. Twelve Years a Slave won Best Picture at this year's Oscars. Dish Network and Disney have come to a deal that allows Dish to broadcast live TV stations from ABC, ABC Family, Disney Channel, ESPN, and ESPN2 on mobile as well as by set-top boxes. While Dish did not announce a start date for the program, ultimately, Dish hopes to offer a service similar to Netflix only with live streaming of on television online. In international news, tensions are escalating over Ukraine as Russia President Vladimir Putin announced yesterday that Russia has the right to use force in Ukraine. Meanwhile, U.S. is strongly backing Ukraine's independence, announcing a plan to give $1 billion in energy subsidies to help Ukraine avoid bankruptcy. Now for sports. KU women's basketball team, coming off four losses, will travel to the West Virginia University for the last game of the regular season. Last time KU played the Mountaineers, the Jayhawks lost 55-65 to in the Big 12 opener. Last night, LeBron James scored a career-high 61 points in the Miami Heat's 124-107 win over the Charlotte Bobcats. He shot 8 for 10 from the, free, from the three point range. According, according to ESPN, this is the first time in his career that James has scored more than 50 points on his home court. That's all the news for today's Good Morning KU. Have a great rest of your day.